I think I mean, and one of the things we do is when you come to a new subject, for example, if it's all to do with limits, one of the tools we use, the techniques, is the blank sheet of paper. So okay. Zubair, you know what these words mean because you've heard them before. At least you know that they exist. I want you to sort of capture everything about this particular topic, including all the words and what you think they mean, and get as close to an understanding of what you're bringing to the table before anything new comes on there. And then when you go into a lecture or you start reading a book or whatever, you've created fertile ground for these new ideas. And so you... So and, would yeah. you say, well, well, so I would just sit down and just be forced to write everything I knew without really preparing for it? or remember? Well, so for example, let's say I'm, I'm going to go and do a, a lecture on thermodynamics. Sure. What I would try and do if I was smart, if I wanted to be effective, look, you know, I'm the same as anybody. Mm. I, I, I would do this stuff if I had to and not always, you know, when I was a student and many years of like learning myself afterwards and as a teacher, try, these are the things to do. Yeah. Whether or not we as individuals do them, I mean, everyone knows that you shouldn't smoke really and you should do lots of exercise, but we don't always do it. But the, the, the principle is, if I really wanted to learn something new, mm -hmm. first of all, I'd understand what do I know already about the word. So I take the word thermodynamics and just think about that word. Well, thermo, I know it will be related from just basic understanding, it will be related to heat. Mm -hmm. You know, thermos, I know thermos flasks, I know thermometers, thermometers, I know it's going to be related to yeah. Dynamics, I know, is related to movement and in particular sort of related to the forces involved and you know, energy differentials and things like that. So I'd know that it would be related to sort of the movement and the forces involved with, with heat. heat yeah. And I would try and map out everything from my memory that I thought I knew about this topic. So thermo, thermodynamics, without knowing about anything, well, what, what things can move? When do I know when hot stuff, well, I'd know about hot air rising, yep. right? So I'd say, okay, so what's going actually on? What does that actually mean? What does hot air rising mean? Why does that happen? Start preparing the ground so that anything that I learn new comes on top of this really solid foundation of sure. what I already know. So I wouldn't necessarily go and prepare the lecture notes in advance or find out what those were, but I would try it's and... more like bringing yeah. everything that you remember or you recall or you can um, you connect think, to that, to that yeah. new concept you're thinking about and bringing it all to that kind of, that fertile land, that blank sheet of paper where you're Yeah, um, so, and I think this is, I mean, the great thing about the blank sheet is you can also do it at the end and to see how much you've sort of remembered, yeah. which is kind of nice. But in terms of the facts of it, if you can just recall everything from this fundamental sort of idea of what you've got before you even start learning anything new, that's a good starting point. So that's the first thing I'd say about figuring out the facts. You know, work out what you know already.